man. Here we go. Lighten up this Luchador. Boom! We get the Titan Slayer. Oh, my gosh. This thing is tearing him up out here, baby. Oh, boy. Here we go. Living Legend. We are going ham. We got another Titan Slayer. Another Living Legend. We are going ham sandwich out here in their small baby. They can't take this Oranga Tang Tang Tang. We got the Hoover. We got the Dyson. We got the ultimate vacuum cleaner Titan, and we are taking them down in a brutal fashion. Another living legend. Oh, 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 holy cow. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below. Also, if you're new, please consider subscribing. It helps out tremendously. If you guys stick around until the end, I'm going to show you the exact setup I use in this video. And we got a brand new giveaway for Pantagruel Titan Weapons, which are the beta versions of these bad boys. Hope you enjoy the show. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods, this is Tony, and welcome to today's video. So I know I didn't do my traditional intro, so I had to drop it on you guys, I know you guys were going to miss it. Um, I know the thumbnail and title of this video says, this thing sucks, but that's the furthest thing from the truth. But, in reality, these weapons actually do suck. They are like big vacuum cleaners, they don't shoot projectiles at the enemy, Rather, they suck damage away from them in HP. You actually heal yourself 20% of the damage you output, and that is the major, major strength of these new weapons. They're absolutely incredible, especially when you have a ton of enemies all clustered up. When you have a single target, their devastation is not apparent. It's only when you have large groups of them does it start to shine. You're able to charge up your mothership very frequently with this as well. It's so, so much fun. Right now on screen, we're starting off with the shell. We're running around, causing some havoc. I'm trying out the new armadillo drone on here to see if this bad boy is good on here or not. Um, I forgot who one of my subscribers, one of my friends asked me to play this. So that's why I'm testing this out. Boom, we get a Rampage, Rampage, Rampage. So the more beacons you get, the more kills you get, the more armadillo stacks you get. And you get 15 defense points for each one. And once you start getting those stacked up, about five, six, seven stacks, you are really, really going to notice it. Your survivability goes through the roof. Let's try to take out this Skyros. He's going over for this city beacon right now, and we definitely need to deny them that. If they get this beacon, they have a very easy way to shoot to center and get us out of there and then they're one stop from our home so this key beacon here the city beacon is a must we need to keep this at all cost we got this guy locked down right now with the gravity amplifier we're blasting away at him with the hammer and cudgel aka the kujalinis aka bob ross's paintbrush oh we get another kill yet another stack going here Let's see if we can go in and finish this guy off over here. This Skyros is extremely low. Can we get another kill? Yes, we can. So we are going on a pretty decent little run right now. We've got ourselves quite a bunch of defense points stacked up right now, which is amazing. Let's see what we can do here. It looks like someone's over there taking our home or contesting it at least, which is no good. Let's get up in the fray right here because I want to drop my Titan. Oh, we get another kill. This thing is actually pretty darn effective right now. I'm having a good time playing this robot with this armadillo drone. If you guys want to see a full video on this shell with the armadillo drone, let me know down in the comments section. All right, we get taken out there finally. And here we go, the man of the hour, the Hoover Supreme, a.k.a. the Dyson Don, the Sharanga Tang with the vacuum weapons, the Gargantuas. The one thing you must know about playing this setup is you need to be extremely cautious because if there are other titans out there with the blinding weapons, they're going to be able to outrange you by 100 meters. Also, if a siren or something like that goes into flight, you will get taken out so fast you won't even know what hit you. So you need to be extremely, extremely cautious when playing these weapons, but if you play them just right, you can get them to pay off huge. Alright, we're trying to vacuum those guys over on that right-hand beacon over there. 
it looks like the left is open i don't know if we're going to be able to go over there and cap that that's kind of dangerous um because if they spawn in a titan with long range weapons or a siren they're going to be able to take me out uh really really quickly over there but it looks like we got a luchador buddy moving over here so i feel a little bit more confident so i'm going to move over here and try to use these buildings as cover and scoot out of there as quickly as possible the nice thing about that is, as you guys saw right there, you're able to shoot sirens in flight. Oh my gosh, and we just got a Miramets in flight as well. Jeez, Louise Papa Cheese. These things are amazing. So if you have a line of sight and you're within that 15 degree window, you're able to shoot things that are in stealth. Very, very effective tactic. All right, we've got another Sharinga in front of us with the blindy, so I feel a little bit more comfortable. I could use him as cover if another Titan or a Siren comes out, something like that. So I'm going to try to get a little bit aggressive here. Ooh, we are on a godlike. We're looking into their spawn right now. This is the perfect position. I'm getting a little bit greedy, but we've got people around us. That's why I'm feeling like I'm a little bit safe. I still have the Phase Exile, which I just used right there on the Luchador. As soon as it wears off, I'm going to try to light him up. Oh, man, here we go. Lighten up this luchador. Boom, we get the Titan Slayer. Oh, my gosh. This thing is tearing them up out here, baby. Oh, boy. Here we go. Living legend. We are going ham. We got another Titan Slayer. Another living legend. We are going ham sandwich out here in their spawn, baby. They can't take the Sharanga Tang Tang Tang. We got the Hoover. We got the Dyson. We got the ultimate vacuum cleaner Titan, and we are taking them down in a brutal fashion another living legend oh, ho, ho, ho. when you got cow. enemies clustered up like that you're able to take do damage to all of them at the same time heal yourself from all of them at the same time it makes this build extremely extremely powerful oh my gosh another titan slayer we are wreaking havoc on them in their spawn that is the victory ladies and gentlemen let's take a look at the scoreboard so all we used was the one shell and the one sharanga let's see what we got here 18 kills three beacons almost seven and a half million damage not too shabby shout out to king rook and thanks for making me that vacuum cleaner image i'm gonna pop that sucker on the screen right now and then i'm gonna give you guys the giveaway instructions like comment subscribe and turn on the bell icon and select all to enter and put your pilot id platform and hashtag wr win pantagruel into the comment section of any of my videos or content on youtube from the 24th until the 30th of june atop the screen right now is an example of what the pilot id and platform looks like for those of you who do not know where will be posted in my discord and i'll include them in my community tab on youtube or most likely in a youtube video reminder the giveaway does end on june 30. I'm going to show you guys a little demonstration of how these things can perform for you out there on the battlefield. I must say, I do love the color of them and the sound effect. The color is Tony Green and the sound effect sounds very, very cool. So that part of these weapons I absolutely do love. Got a luchador over here trying to get some damage on him, but that structure is in the way. So we're going to have to recalibrate here and find somewhere else to attack. I wanted to get some damage on that guy, but that Demeter's got that purple shield up. That's the one big downside with running these weapons. They don't bypass the purple shields. So you're going to be impacting the purple shields a lot. And these weapons don't have a lot of ammunition. So you're going to have to do a lot of ammo management and wait for those reloads. So please address yourself accordingly to have that advantage out there on the battlefield. If you just have your finger on the trigger all the time, you are going to be in for some trouble. You got to let those puppies recharge. All right, we're getting close to that segment that I showed you guys in the intro. That's where this north light drone really shines. Here we go, baby. We're getting lit up. We get taken down to 84,000 HP. I'm hitting that mothership for the heal. Look at that. We get a big healing burst and a shield. All their shots are impacting the shield right now. As they're falling down, I'm shooting them both in stealth. Two Titan Slayers back to back. We took those suckers out, man. And this is the strength of this Northlight. If I was using any other mothership, I would have been dead. No doubt about it. But this allowed me to survive and not only just survive, take them out as well. Super, super awesome. Those defense points come in clutch. That Aegis comes in clutch. The healing comes in clutch. All of it is a total package. And on top of it, the gargantual weapons 
heal back a portion of the damage they deal. So there was even more healing coming from that source as well. So that's why we were able to survive that onslaught that would most certainly have killed us in any other scenario. Boom, we get another Titan Slayer. We get that Nodens that was on their home beacon. I had my eyeball on him. I wanted to really take him out. We drop another airstrike on these guys. We got the gravity amp. Their feet are all tied up. Unfortunately, they were able to take me out. Appreciate you guys so much. Hope everybody has a great day and keep coming back.